Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Heron and I'm an Applications Engineer at Agilent Technologies focused on logic analysis products. Today we are going to be doing a demonstration of correlation between logic analysis and oscilloscopes. As analog and digital domains become more complicated, the integration of these two tools, scopes and logic analyzers, becomes critical. Today, we are going to talk about a great new feature from Agilent Technologies that we're calling ViewScope. It's actually a piece of software in the logic analyzer that allows a seamless integration of your oscilloscope waveforms with your logic analysis data. Today, we are going to be making a measurement on a real system using an Agilent logic analyzer and oscilloscope. We're going to compare that measurement to a measurements made on the leading competitor's instruments. The reason we're going to show this comparison is to show you how important it is that the two instruments be tightly and seamlessly integrated. Now, let's begin with a description of how the Agilent Logic Analyzer and the oscilloscope are physically connected together. There is a LAN connection between the oscilloscope and the Logic Analyzer. In addition to the LAN, which transfers data, we also have BNC cables for cross-triggering. Our connection is as simple as that, two BNC cables for cross-triggering and a LAN cable for data transfer. Taking a look at our competitor's connection, what you'll see is that they transfer data over a USB to GPIB connection. GPIB on the scope connects to USB on the logic analyzer. And for triggering, they use BNC cables connected between trig out and trig in of each instrument and vice versa. The issue is that this connection requires a proprietary cable available only from our competitor. Now that we've taken a look at how the logic analyzer and scopes are physically connected, I would like to spend some time making a measurement in a real system. What we have here is a block diagram of a serial communications system that is inside of a Xilinx FPGA. The way that this communication system works is there are two state machines that are communicating to one another and sending serial packets back and forth. Today we're going to be focusing our measurements inside of the first state machine. We're going to be taking a look at the different states that are being executed, as well as the transaction IDs that are associated with them. Now, let's take a look at the Agilent Logic Analyzer and Scope combination and take a look at how these measurements are really being made. Here I have an Agilent Infinium oscilloscope that is looking at one of the serial channels that's a part of this communication system. And as you can see by looking at the waveform, there are a series of packets that are being displayed. So what I want to do is I want to connect that Infinium oscilloscope to my logic analyzer using my logic analyzer application software. If I hit the run button, you will now see that my scope waveforms are displayed along with my logic analysis waveforms and they are actually time correlated. If I click and drag on this box, you can see that my data is auto scaled to fit the size of the row that is being displayed inside that logic analyzer screen. Once we have the waveform imported, we're likely also going to want to be able to make some measurements on that data. And one of the most critical tools for making those measurements is the use of markers. Inside of the logic analyzer, we have 1,024 markers available for your use. Two of those markers are global markers, and those markers can be time correlated to your oscilloscope. Now that I've made these measurements, you can see that the scope waveform here has now been imported into the logic analysis screen. The trigger conditions are here and here, and you can see that the waveforms are identical. In addition to that, you can see that my markers A and B are tightly correlated to markers A and B inside of my oscilloscope. Since these measurements and these markers are completely time correlated, it allows a much tighter measurement between what's going on in the analog and what's going on in the digital realms. Now that we've seen Agilent's seamless implementation of scope and logic analysis correlation, let's take a look at how a leading competitor has implemented a similar feature in their latest line of logic analysis products. The measurement challenges from our leading competitor begin with the requirement of having an expensive proprietary cable connection between the two instruments. But their measurement challenges don't stop there. On my oscilloscope, you can see that I am actually looking at the same serial channel that I was looking at with the Agilent oscilloscope. Inside of my logic analyzer, I am looking at the same two buses that I was looking at again with the Agilent logic analyzer system. Now, if I press run on the logic analysis system, the logic analyzer will trigger the scope 
and import the oscilloscope acquired data. Let's start to take a look at some of the limitations of this implementation. Let's begin by simply auto-scaling our oscilloscope. Here again you can see those serial packets that are going across my communication system. One limitation is that when I run the logic analyzer from our competitor, you'll see that the logic analyzer takes control of the scope and changes the scale or your time base. This can be confusing and often frustrating for people that are trying to use these two tools independently but just have them correlated. In addition to that, let's take a look at how these waveforms are displayed inside of the logic analyzer system. The first observation that you might make is that the amplitude of this waveform is quite small. So the natural intuition of most engineers is to simply click and drag and expand that menu bar. Now what you'll notice when I've done that is that the waveform has stayed in the top 50% of that display bar just as it was being displayed inside of the oscilloscope screen. And that simply adjusting this column bar was not sufficient to make that data auto-scaled to fit inside of that menu bar. In fact, auto-scaling the data is not possible with our competitor's logic analysis solution. Another frustration that many people find with the competitor's implementation of scope logic import is that there are no correlated markers. Say I was a designer and I was scrolling through my logic data and I saw something occur that I didn't think should happen. If I wanted to make measurements on these scope waveforms here, what I would have to do is make a measurement of how far that point in time is from the system trigger, then go into my oscilloscope and adjust my settings so that I was at the same point in time. Now this is clearly not a seamless integration or a good use of markers. When using a logic analyzer and oscilloscope together in a time correlated fashion, one of the most important things to be able to do is to still use the two instruments independently to be tracking down the appropriate problems. You want your integration to be seamless and you also want it to be easy to use and easy to understand. Our competitor has many limitations in this area as we have shown. For example, your scale in your scope is adjusted by the logic analyzer when you press run. There's no way to auto scale the data inside of the scope waveform. And most importantly, there are no correlated markers to help you track down problems that cross the analog and digital boundaries. After this brief demonstration of correlating logic analyzers and oscilloscopes, you can clearly see that Agilent's implementation using our ViewScope software is far superior to the latest product introduction from our competitors. You, as a designer, want to be able to use your logic analyzer and your oscilloscope separately to make all of the appropriate measurements with the added feature of having them tightly and seamlessly integrated. And only Agilent offers this. The advantages that are time correlated markers, our data that's auto scaled to fit the menu bar, and our lack of a need for an expensive proprietary cable make Agilent the clear solution to choose. You can save time, save money, and get to the root cause of your cross-domain analog and digital problems much more quickly. Thank you.